Hey, welcome back for part two. Now I'm going to show you how I made these railings. So I bought 20 4x4s, all pressure treated, cut those in half while well, I cut them to four feet high. They weren't all eight feet perfectly, so I cut each one, sometimes twice, so it was each one was four feet high. I got 40 two by fours and I cut those into four foot sections so I ended up with 80 of those and I'll show you how we assembled that in the next part of the video so what I ended up with was 80 two by fours cut into four foot sections and 40 four by fours cut into four foot sections far too long But now I'm on my way back home I hear the west winds calling I'm a name They're telling me to head your way Down your own past your gate Keep your eyes on the horizon I was looking to belong when I'd already found For the setting sun For you to fall into my arms The place I call my home I was looking to belong When I already found So here you can see I chamfered the edges of the, the tops actually, of the um, 4x4 posts and I'm also marking in the center of the 4x4 post and also every, I think I did six holes, so every six holes I marked and uh, I did this on every post so I had 40 posts. The bridge is 75 feet long if you watch the first video you know that. 
So it was quite a few posts. But I wanted to pre prepare everything before I got out, just about everything before I got it out on location and didn't have to do all this stuff. In a, it was just easier to do it at the house. So when you do that, you can stand on it and go down a little bit, pull up, pull up. I didn't do it. Okay.
So once we got to the river and the actual bridge fix, we uh, folded down the tailgate of the truck and put those brackets right there, which were galvanized. I'll show you a picture of that. So we attach those to the bottoms of the 4x4 posts and the flap that hung off extra, that would be attached to the tops of the new boards, actually to the sides of these new 16-foot boards that we added. And that they used two screws. Now our guys did that. They used two screws until everything was all aligned. Then they secured it with longer screws. We also used uh, six foot inch black screws to screw the post to the runners once the runners were all put on. So it was a process, but the deck is quite secure and strong. We're very happy with the results.
So this was part two. I appreciate you watching. If you missed part one, I'm going to add a end cap, uh, which you can click on if you're on your computer, and check it out. If you want to see part three, just uh, subscribe, and I'm going to try and get it out next week, same time. And um, anyway, you'll see the uh, updated version of our revised bridge. Thanks for watching.